Hey, Daniel with returntodaniel.com. Today is the 12th of November, 2020. It's a Thursday. I'm five weeks uh, post-op from my um, reconstruction surgery of my male genitals. I just want a short video update for uh, my YouTube subscribers and um, I'll probably write another post on my blog now. Um, I had some delays in my healing. I'm, um, I'm uh, over six decades now uh, on the earth and um, I imagine the timelines that are established uh, that you know after three weeks you'll be able to to have the catheters out and that kind of thing well my timeline didn't fit that I had to have catheters in for almost five full weeks I, I had my super pubic catheter which was right below the belly button here removed yesterday and oh boy what a relief I was in so much pain from that catheter inside my um, bladder and so anyway um, my healing is going very well now. I've uh, been eating very, very nutritious food, um, concentrating on high doses of uh, vitamin C, which is necessary for your skin uh, regeneration and um, then uh, uh, some other things that I, I've actually in the wellness business. I market and sell some products. One of them is Caldera Greens and it's definitely loaded with dense nutrients helping me recover and so anyway um, I just wanted to share that uh, if you have gender dysphoria uh, get the best mental health care you can possibly get because um, I made a, a tragic mistake in 2004 uh, by not dealing with uh, some things that happened to me as a little boy and it was some child abuse issues uh, my mother died from alcoholism and I don't want to get into all of that um, on a short video update but uh, I was abused and I made some bad decisions and I had male genitals removed I was born biological male obviously uh, male genitals removed in 2006 and then in 2016 I was uh, I was praying one morning and God healed me. I was miserable. And there was one other time after I'd had the surgery uh, to create the vagina in uh, 2006. At about six months after that, I sank into a real serious depression. So I'm lucky I didn't kill myself. There's such a high rate of suicide in the transgendered community. Um, and I can't speak about the lesbian and gay and all that stuff because I've always been attracted to females. I'm actually married uh, as of yesterday, 18 months. So uh, I just made a very, very bad, tragic mistake. Uh, I had been a cross-dresser for many, many years and it was a sexual addiction. And then I made a very poor choice and had male genitals removed and then realized I was miserable and God healed me in 2016 and I had reconstruction surgery in uh, early October of 2020. So if you have gender dysphoria, uh, don't spend a fortune and a whole bunch of time with the, the pain of it all, if at all possible. Keep your, keep your genitals the way they are. God created us. Uh, my father told me that, you know, God doesn't make mistakes, son. And I didn't listen to him. And um, had another friend tell me, you sure you want to do that? And I didn't listen to them either. So I could have been sitting in a very, very nice house right now, paid for with all the money that I spent on having um, genitalia either removed or put back together. <laughs> so that's my update for now. This is Daniel at returntodaniel.com. I'm going to update my book because I need to draw a conclusion to it there. Um, and uh, the book is very affordable uh, and it's on the website. And I look forward to more interactions with you. Bye for now.